Today in the grain market, soybeans did fall. That trade deal uh, comments really weighed on futures. The president says no to dropping of the tariffs. And I guess we're going to have to wait till December uh, 15th. Uh, you know, that, that date is just looming uh, because that will be the next day that they're going to implement even more tariffs. So can we uh, have a trade deal before then? It's possible, but it's really challenging to look at it right now. The futures did break out on the downside, and traders are now focusing on what's happening in Brazil. And uh, that uh, looks like it's going to add some bearish pressure onto the market. Uh, I, it, we knew that, that soybeans was going to have some kind of a correction. Uh, perhaps this is the start of it. And right now, we have to take a look to see if we're really starting to be into a, a downtrend. We're going to definitely need better headlines to get this market moving. Today being a holiday, it's a little bit more thin. Volume is slower. So uh, it's possible that this is just a, you know, a, a sideline to the market. And uh, tomorrow, we'll have more people participating, but we're going to watch that one closely. Corn was lower, lower today. A weak demand is di just adding to the downtrend right now. Also, ethanol consumption is also on the down on the downside, and uh, these two points are really making it nearly impossible for the market to rise. 370 is really the number. Uh, big option open interest on that. Only a couple weeks left for the December uh, expiration. Uh, right now, we could be looking at the tail wagging the dog. So we're, gonna, we're we'll see if there's going to be much more volatility coming in. But it's really difficult to tell. It's going to be a day by day thing. Now wheat also slipped. The global stocks hit uh, a new record high, and that uh, the, and the cut in uh, production for Argentina and Australia just all also adds uh, adds a, a lot to uh, the pressure on the market. Five dollars is the real benchmark and support. And as the wheat starts to move into that direction, we'll see if that mar if that can hold. Uh, also, the gap between the Chicago and Kansas City wheat is now starting to you know come together somewhat, but it still has a ways a ways to go. But uh, the futures have already bro broken through a lot of technical numbers, so any kind of follow through uh, selling uh, could give way to a real correction in these markets. But uh, Traders are really concerned that there just isn't enough energy to get the rally or the idea of a rally back in any of the grains across the board. So that's something to think about as we go forward.